Hello guys, how's it going? Screezilla here. You join me for my first ever air assault. Um, yeah, let's give it a go and see how it works out. Uh, let's switch to the universal rounds for this one. Uh, we'll remove our bombs. Let's see how this goes. Um, so yeah, the assault mode, a new part of the game. Um, you fly against AI and basically take on the AI and you've got to protect your targets. Um, I'm sorry, I believe we're protecting our base here. That's the thing you got to protect. And it's actually a new model for a base, so that's interesting to see. Uh, if you look down there, it's actually like a factory rather than the stock standard base layout. Destroy the target! See, there's behind us, and we've got to do it. Dornier 217s. So let's see how this goes. So it's interesting to see a new base mode there. Hopefully they're going to implement that into um, the game. So it will be interesting if they actually implement larger bases like that with say more hit points where you have to hit the whole base rather than just the center point. Um, just for the bombing aspect of the game, it could be an interesting factor. So we're in arcade mode at the moment. So I don't know what they're going to do with the um, the modes for assault. If there's going to be um, arcade, realistic, and even sim mode for it, it will be interesting to see. Smoke up here just to make it a bit easier. So hopefully nobody collides with us. So. I guess in this mode for planes at least, it's going to be bomber hunting. Um, which, you know, is always fun. I don't know why somebody bought out a YAR2 on this mission, but we'll uh, leave it to them, I guess. Go, quick kills there. Get the hell out of there before we get absolutely splattered by the uh, gunners. So it's an interesting part of the game, and I think it's something that's needed in an AI mode for this game. Um, simply to grind out some of the base areas of the plane. Um, because when you're fi uh, fighting in. Um, a stock plane. It's very tricky sometimes. And it's an absolute pain in the ass to grind, especially in um, when you're actually in a game mode. So, for instance, tanks and stuff like that, it will be interesting to have um, the ability to actually grind out the plane um, and grind out a tank's um, Star ammunition here, just because we're going to rearm. Roger that. I can just reload, but it's a bit more fun just firing things. Um, so, yeah, so for tanks and for instance, uh, for things like that, um, it, it's going to help a lot for, um, you know, fire prevention and things like that, and the things you need to really go into a proper battle. Um, Warp 190s down there. But we've also got some bombers over here, so I'm going to leave the rest of the gang over there to take on the fighters. Because they're not really priority targets from what I take. This, um, the bombers are the things you really need to kill. So, yeah, for grinding out your stock stuff, for the base elements of a plane or a tank or something like that. This mode has been needed for a while. Um, so it's going to help an awful lot I think. And it will be nice not to have to go into a general battle with a stock vehicle. It gives you a chance to also learn the vehicle as well in a combat situation, uh, which is always handy. 
Now, coming up on these dorneas, I'm thinking we'll probably dive down and then try and get underneath them. It's a bit tricky being alone out here, because I'm the one that's going to get shot at most. But we'll get some energy advantage over them, and then go in for some big hits on them. So yeah, hopefully it will help um, help the grind really, and make it a little bit easier to grind out planes. Um, grind out base things at least. I don't think this mode's going to be, you know, a huge RP booster, but it's going to help just get you into the game, get you, get your eye on the ball sort of thing, so you can sort of get a little bit um, used to the game a bit more when you first start playing. Because I know whenever I start playing a match, my first match I usually struggle a bit and have some terrible games. I just need to get my eye in on the match. So having a mode where I can actually sort of fight a little bit, get used to a plane and sort of get the bits I need on a plane as well, rather than having to do it all through um, you know realistic battles and arcade battles, it will help an awful lot. But when you're only going up against AI, it still helps you get used to a plane, um, and also the RP and the lines are going to be a huge benefit, a huge help to um, a huge help to getting used to a plane and uh, you know just wanting to play. And I think this mode will be handy as well because it's just going to give people an incentive to do something a bit different. Mm. Okay, let's uh, out of that one. A little bit low on ammunition. This is a plane I've wanted to play a bit more of, but I've just had issues with it because it's, um... Well, it's not the easiest plane to fly, and it's got pretty, um... Pretty low ammunition on it as well. It's not, it's not got huge amounts of ammunition. But it is relatively good. I'm guessing that I'm going to go over to those enemies over there that are coming towards the airbase. So all in all, this mode seems pretty fun. Um, I'm glad the bombers they're using are the Dorniers, not things like a T-4 or um, B-29s and stuff, although may well come to a stage where they start using those later in the game mode. Um, because, well, really, I don't want to be going up against B-29s. Okay. Bit of crap angle here, so let's fall right through that big group of planes. Make ourselves a little bit less profiled. There's a lot of guns firing there. Of course, coming in on the six of bombers is never a good idea, but, well, arcade mode so it's not too bad but our engine is going to die on us pretty soon so we're probably not going to be up here much longer in this plane uh, we've jammed our guns as well so we jammed our 20 mils but we've got a few kills there so that's something Let's see how long this lasts for so our missions failed because the base is dead we got a relatively good score, um, so yeah, let's see what we earn from this mission um, in basically failing it, but I don't think you can win in these missions. There's no winning, it's just carrying on. Participation, basically. So, 50% uh, Lion Booster, that's not bad. Not a huge amount of lions or um, RP there, so not terrible, but you know, not it's not going to set the world on fire. But I think this mode's going to be interesting, and well, 
it gives you a bit of an idea about the plane, it gives, gives you a bit of an idea about flying it, and sort of gives you something to do while you're waiting, I guess. Um, so yeah, that's the air assault mode. I will probably do a realistic battle mode on it, and I'll do a ground forces mode when it comes up. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you later. This is Screezilla out. See you guys. Bye-bye.